Hello there and welcome back to Technical Service 101. Uh, today we've got a nice quick build for you, the most basic of LED setups that is easily achievable. This will be a single 30 watt cob and we'll be mounting it to a passively called computer style heatsink. I think this one's been robbed out of a server at some point. You'll be seeing me handle bare live wires in this video. Uh, when you see me handling bare live wires, uh, rest assured that they are low voltage DC and that this isn't in any way uh, any risk to life or limb. So here's a quick look at the equipment that we'll be assembling today, heatsink, cob and lamp holder. And we'll be using the template as was demonstrated in the previous video for getting our whole spacings correct. So we have the uh, two 35 mil holes and we're going to be so 35 mil spacing holes and we're going to be uh, touching into those with a two and a half mil drill bit probably won't go all the way through go try and go down maybe 10 12 mil Neatly drilled, neatly spaced, two and a half mil holes ready for taking a tap. And we've got those here. Okay. Okay, so I don't know where you can see that. Okay, so this is the second taper that's not the most extreme taper that's just the second taper and here's in comparison the top one there is the plug and the bottom one there is the second taper plug being the one with thread all the way to its tip at full width so we have our first taper uh, yeah just sorry just wrapped that um aluminium tape around there just to make the heads of the taps a little bigger so that the uh, tap holds much more neatly in the tap holder. So usual spiel, start slowly. So you start to feel it to tighten and then turn back. It's usually just about 180 degrees and then about 90 degrees back. Okay, so tap the one hole with the taper and tap the other one. So now we just swap for the plug. That's the one with no tape on it, just a little uh, 45 degree chamfer on the tip. And this one allows us to tap right to the very bottom of the hole. Or well, certainly within about half a mil of the bottom of the hole. Uh, and with the thread coming to about that close to the tip. Whereas the taper one leaves uh, some thread uncut at the bottom. Okay then, so that's both of the 
those holes now threaded to an M3. Clean off a few bits, put everything away. Clean those holes up. Thing and rub down with a bit of super fine wet and rub. Right, so we've got a nice bright surface on there now. That's lovely. Just need to wipe off of the cloth. Okay, I'm not happy with that. That's probably enough for my liking. Okay, we'll just get a little. Uh, we're going to look inside one of these cob holders because this one has actually come away. Oh no, that's actually. Okay, there we go. This one has come away from its inner portion. Let's put that to one side. And there you get a detail, and the wires poke in, sorry, uh, here. Oh, Jesus, try and get that in. Come right here, the wires poke in here and here and clip onto these little notched clips in there. So there's this little detail of your pokey bits, and there you can see the terminals come down to these terminations where the lug on the cob pick up their voltage. Okay, and uh, yeah, there's the uh, accepts it and as you can see that just simply goes back in that way around and you can see that you access one hole that way and one hole that way and just poke the wires into those they are of course marked for positive and negative we've got a little positive symbol there and somewhere down here there'll be a corresponding little negative symbol Okay, and here's a gulp on this occasion. I'll get that for you. Uh, somewhere about there. Uh, oh, you're never going to see that little right. Anyway, it's a Luminance uh, Luxion uh, 1205, and this is in a uh, 3000 Kelvin with a uh, CRI of 90. Uh, okay, so basically, this is uh, all pretty much broken apart, so we're just going to. Uh, Look for our positive, which is this one at the top, and that goes for a little positive marking on there. That goes into there. Apply a little thermal doobie doo. Yeah, this, this uh, cob holder design isn't one that I'd advise the uh, snap fixings, just simply don't snap. Maybe do snap, maybe that's the problem. Yeah, so essentially that's as in as that's getting. So what we need to do now is we need to lower the heatsink down to that. With our screw holes it enabled. And then just simply turn it upside down. Make sure that we've got that nicely seated down there. There we go, just put that snap into the snap frame. Yeah, once again, just screwing these down until they meet. looks nice and flush under here yeah, and that looks nicely sat down oh, nicely sat down no big gaps around anywhere around that heat sink so we know that that's seated properly on the cob so now we can go ahead and gently bring those down again no need for gorilla tactics here just 
firmly attached and that is about perfect. There you go, that entire unit there is going to have cost, well, the heatsink is going to cost nothing, the cob I think was around about £10, £10. Pounds. Uh, holder about £1.25, 75p for a reflector. So, and all that needs is a suitable DC power supply, which I'll go and get from upstairs. Might help if I hit record occasionally. Okay, so here's the uh, 58 volt, 35 watt driver that we're going to be driving this lamp with. And attachment is as simple as two clearly marked wires there, positive and, term uh, no, positive and negative terminals, one end. And you've got exactly the same for the mains inside this end. Simple as wire and a plug. Oh well. Okay, so this is quite a good example. Uh, I've no idea which way around those terminals are now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire these up appropriately. Establish which polarity we are. Yeah, and essentially because uh, LEDs are like emitting diodes, we don't really need to know what polarity they are because we can establish what polarity they are. There we go. So positive goes to the right, negative goes to the left. If they're going the other way around, nothing happens. And now. Uh, this into it, still showing 244 volts, and there's your wattage, 32 watts. So if you can imagine that in terms of a light bulb, that's exactly the same as a dingy, uh, a dingy sort of, uh, I don't know, sort of hallway bulb or something. Okay. And we've set times range approximately sort of six thousand lux per meter or thereabouts. So that's not insignificant. Okay, well this thing's now been running for uh, approximately half an hour, three quarters of an hour and is getting quite un comfortably hot to the touch and yet simply by applying a little spittle on the heat sink there we can see that instead of it boiling off it's just simply slowly evaporating away which is indicating that this heat sink is well within the 85 degrees uh, centigrade rated um, temperature for this cob to run happily at its rated life so there you go 600 milliamps at 36 volts uh, again 36 volts from a 58 volt supply i believe that is that's right that's it again yeah 58 volts and this claim 58 volts at 700 milliamps so we could even be overdriving this cob a little okay so there's as you can see a significantly bright work light lovely white light There you go, simple as that. Oh, <laughs> wiring's a bit dodgy. But yeah, there you go. It's a torch and a bulb and a battery. So there you have it, a simple passively cooled heatsink, robbed out of any uh, piece of electrical equipment with heatsinks, or simply acquired as a uh, computer CPU heatsink, uh, 30 watt cob lamp holder and a DC power supply all in probably less than $30, 30 quid. Yeah, very effective light, perfect work light, uh, useful for photographers or anybody that's needing a particularly uh, pure white light. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe, like, comment, rate, 
Thank you very much for watching. Catch you with the next video very shortly.